The material being food safe has absolutely nothing to do with the product being food safe. So this comes up a lot and it's kind of a, a, a urban legend that has moved around within the hobbyist 3D printing market for years, which is can I 3D print a part and have it be food safe? Um, sort of, but not really, but kind of, and sort of. The problem with 3D printing being food safe is that there are many materials that can uh, be considered food safe. There's PETG, there's ABS, there's any sort of materials around there that are food safe materials, provided that your manufacturer processed them appropriately, which is sometimes indeterminate with 3D printing filament, but generally those raw materials, as in standard ABS, standard PETG, are food safe chemicals. So many people take that and assume that it is then able to be used in food grade products. And that is not the case because 3D printing, in this case, we're going to specifically focus on FDM 3D printing. Since it always, always creates some sort of texture or ridging on the part, no matter how fine your layer lines, food safe has to be determined on a part by part basis because those ridges can house bacteria and they make them very difficult to wash because you have this roughened surface that the bacteria are able to hide in and the soap might not be able to reach, especially depending on the design of the product. So since you can't create a glass smooth surface that can be perfectly polished and cleaned, uh, food safe is a little bit of a misnomer because the plastic is, but the process creates a product that kind of isn't. It's kind of like your kitchen sponge. Your sponge is a food safe material, but very few of us would probably lick our sponge even after it's been through soap because it stores up so much stuff. That's a lot what 3D printing surfaces are like. So 3D printing isn't really food safe unless it's a particular product. Uh, common products that are generally fine to produce are things like cookie cutters because they're only in contact with dough, which is a dry material without a lot of bacteria. Um, and then certain types of maybe bowls or spoons or something like that within it. But again, it's dependent on the specific product, specific application and its usage. We would not recommend making a bowl for mixing your eggs out of any sort of 3D printed material because it will not be able to be cleaned reliably. But that can all be verified with testing. And if you do certain types of post-processing, there's ways around that. The part can be processed in all sorts of ways to reduce uh, the adherence of bacteria to it. So ultimately is 3D printing food safe or 3D printed materials? The materials are the process depends on the actual product that you're making, how it's designed and what its use is to see if it is valid inside of that context. Um, so just make sure that when you are considering to have a product mass produced with 3D printing, that you have the discussion with your engineer to know that you are producing something that is reliable in the application that you want it for. So be very concise in describing what it's for so they can make the best recommendations and inform you about things to be aware of that might require further inspection. Hopefully that covers it. Uh, let us know down in the comments if there's other things about 3D printing uh, food safe products or home products that you'd like to know about. Um, and let us know if there's any other sort of topics that you'd like us to cover. Have a great day, everybody.